Welcome to the topic of business mission, a part of chapter marketing planning. Um, I will introduce you what business mission is, um, address the key fundamental questions you may ask about the business mission, and show you several examples how to write one. Business mission is a first step in the marketing planning process. We always start with it. It's important to understand that it is not vision which sets out future for a company. So it's important to differentiate between a business mission and business vision. An organization exists to accomplish something and its purpose should be clearly stated. The business mission should provide a reference point for its managers and employees to make decisions. Today, many organizations develop formal mission statements. Um, a mission statement is a statement of the organization's purpose, what it wants to accomplish in the larger environment. Or put it simply, it answers the question, why do we exist? What is the underlying motivation for being in business in the first place? Um, these simple sounding questions are actually among the most difficult a company will ever have to answer but successful companies will continuously raise these questions and answer them carefully. A, bus uh, a business mission statement helps organization define its purpose and communicate it to stakeholders. This is why a good mission statement um, has to be concise, clear to articulate what is unique about organization. Um, I would like to explain this through example, which is proposed by Porsche's CEO, Peter Schultz in 1987. Why does a business mission matter? Well, um, imagine a situation. Three people were at work on a construction site. They were all doing the same job. But when each was asked what his job was, the answers were different. Breaking rocks replied the first. Earning a living answered the second. Helping to build a cathedral said the third. Well, few of us can build cathedrals, but to the extent we can see the cathedral in whatever course we are following, the job suddenly seems more worthwhile. A clear mission helps us find those cathedrals in what otherwise could be dismal issues and empty causes. There are a few fundamental questions you may ask about business mission. Who is it for? Who uses it? Well, the business mission is both for customers and companies, as well as the public. The mission should provide a reference point to its managers and employees to make decisions. Today's consumers increasingly value authenticity when it comes to a company's outlook, and those searching for truth are in particular conscious of the company's mission and purpose, which needs to be a true reflection of the activities rather than just written for PR purposes. By the way, one other thing I perhaps forgot to mention is that very often companies will just simply call it the purpose statement. Um, I would see this as synonyms, business mission and purpose. What are some of the challenges? Well, formulating business mission um, really raises several challenges. Designing and communicating a clear business mission, both internally, which is meant to be to employees, and externally, which is meant to be for consumers, is among most commonly neglected tasks in strategic management of any company, regardless of the size. Uh, some authors, Toff Toy and Shatter G in 2004 noted that business mission is so rarely given adequate thought, it's perhaps the most single cause of business frustration, which was observed by Peter Drachka. Without a clear statement of business mission, a company's short-term actions can be counterproductive to the long-term goals. Um, and how to write it? Well, the key principle is to make it market-oriented rather than product-oriented. Why? Because products and technologies eventually become outdated. However, basic market needs may last forever. Imagine if Tesco were to formulate the mis business mission as simply to sell more food. Or Coca-Cola would say, sell more delicious drinks. Well, these would be more product-oriented statements. In this case, the missions would be defined rather myopically, which means that sellers make mistake of paying more attention to the specific products they offer than to the benefits and experiences produced by these products. It would be challenging for these companies to motivate their customers and employees using the statements. 
we also see that too often statements are written for PR purposes and they lack specific workable guidelines. A company's mission should not be stated as making more sales or profit. Uh, customers don't care if you want to be number one in selling more flights or if you aspire to be the most profitable airline company in the world and so forth. This simply won't resonate with customers. Profits are only a reward for creating value for customers. Mission statements should be meaningful and specific yet motivating. They should emphasize the company's strengths in the marketplace. The mission should focus on customers and uh, their experience the company seeks to provide. And here are several examples of business mission um, statements. They are all market oriented rather than product oriented. For example, out of Alphabet, they say that the mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Um, Apple is to bring the best user experience for, uh, to its customers through their innovative hardware, software and services. Beckerley Water Filter emphasizes that they provide the cleanest, freshest and pure, purest drinking water. Coca-Cola says it's about refreshing the world, it's about making a difference. You can watch Coca-Cola's ads and so forth and you will see that this philosophy is very much embedded in what they do. Coinbase, uh, which is a platform to buy, sell and manage crypto, it's also traded on stocks, they say that their mission statement is to increase economic freedom in the world. Quite ambitious, isn't it? Meta, to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. Microsoft um, is actually to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Uh, you would never guess probably that this business mission belongs to Microsoft, right? So you can see how ambitious they are and how well beyond the product they go. Disney's mission is to entertain, inform and inspire people. Tesco is to be the champion for customers, helping them enjoy a better quality life. Whole Foods, their purpose is to nourish people and planet. Valida, um, uh, which is one of the world's leading manufacturer of certified natural personal care, they say that their statement, is, uh, their mission is to unfold health and beauty in harmony with human and nature and Zoom simply to make video communications frictionless. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.